something like 30 seconds early. I'm going to see if I can pull this video up and see if we've got the chipmunk voice. We've had the chipmunk voice several times here recently, several times recently, and hopefully we don't have it this time. Let's see here. Pulling it up on my yeah, iPad. See if I can pull this. All right. Sounds like we are good, and Stig is in the house, so we're going to be on time right there, straight up 5 o'clock. Stig's in the house. Carlos is in the house. Stig's in the house a few times. Are you guys sleeping or what? And hello, Carlos. How are you doing down in Panama? It seems that the situation in Spain is getting a little bit better. And yes, Spain looks better. Panama is in quite good situation, but we are in very severe lockdown. And let's see. Um, and good afternoon from Igor and Blue Shirt Buddha's in the house. Normal voice today. <laughs> And Carlos is all over the place. He says hello to David, too. And Tim is in the house. Sounds okay. Says Tim, yes. And uh, that's a cool name, Tim, yes. How's that? David Williams says hi to Craig and all. And Lance is in the house. Thurston Howe III is in the house. We are rocking and rolling, and I'm wearing an old standby. Uh, this is tailored by Corbin Limited. This w suit was purchased at the Georgetown University shop in about 1979 and it's still going strong it's got a uh, little bit of a gray uh, uh, I don't know what you would call that like a checkered it's not a pinstripe let me see if I can get a close-up here you kind of see that you kind of see that pattern there and very versatile a dark gray you know, goes with just about anything. And this uh, shirt is a, like a pale yellow. And this is from Gitman Brothers. Gitman Brothers, one of my favorite United States shirt makers. And the tie is Solka. Solka Company. S-U-L-K-A, out of New York. This one came from New York, at least. Let's see. Um, would you buy a watch without a warranty card, M-E? I prefer, and I don't care about warranties, but I care about the history of a watch. So I like to buy from an original owner if I'm buying used, if possible. So that would be full papers, including a receipt with their name on it that matches their driver's license, you know, basic proof that they bought it new. That, to me, is a big plus. Same thing with a car. I like to buy a one-owner car if I can. I like to know the history of, of what I'm getting. Warranties are not important to me on any watch. And... And this is why it just gets me that people say, well, Omega offers a five-year warranty, and this one offers a three-year warranty, and Rolex offers a five-year warranty. I could give a rat's rear end about a warranty, because if I buy a watch in that price range, and it fails within five years, I'm going to be pissed off, warranty or no warranty. I demand, when I spend the kind of money that I spent on this watch, for example, I demand robust reliability every time. I'm paying for that kind of quality and that kind of quality control, and I expect that. And I never had a problem with any of my Rolexes where they had to go in for, quote, warranty work. That would be very disappointing to me, and I would not be a happy camper. So there you go. Like, for example, if that spring drive failed and had to go in for, quote, warranty work, I would probably be, be done. i got to hang up on that. I would probably be done with Grand Seiko. Probably just done with them, period. I would not put up with that. It, in that price range, I expect quality control, and I expect every watch they deliver to function properly. It's not like we're buying a, a $200 watch or something. You know, we're, we're, I'm paying for that kind of quality control. So there you go. Depends on how old the watch is. Says Tim, Craig is the... Coronavirus affecting your YouTube ad revenues. Do you feel that companies spending less for ads already? Do Pi X back? I haven't seen any real change. Uh, you, you don't make much money on on uh, on uh, YouTube videos anyway. You got to get a lot of views to make money. Uh, so uh, no, I haven't seen a significant drop off yet. But I would think that would be a delayed thing anyway. I would think we'd probably see it next month or something. And I would not doubt that it would drop. 
everything else is dropping as far as commerce goes. I mean, it's a big problem out there, folks, in the real world. I, d I deal with a lot of small businesses, owner-operator businesses, that sort of thing. It, this is a big, big problem. Hey, Craig, did you see how Obama endorsed Biden? No. I don't pay attention to much in the way of politics. Uh, none of those people are going to do anything for me. If anything, they're going to do harm to me, not, not help me. So I kind of stay away from all of those critters, and I don't feed into the politics much. Uh, and and uh, with Frederick.com, I, I remain very neutral, and I, I'm very pro-business, I will say that. And so I will speak out sometimes on things that are negatively affecting businesses, like this shutdown and so forth. But uh, try to stay out of politics because that's a quagmire and they're all a bunch of, uh, well, I won't say on air here live what I think of the politicians because <clears throat> that might get my channel just totally shut down if I said really what I think about them all. And that's all of them. Okay, so a watch without papers carries a higher risk of being stolen if you would be buying the seller's reputation. That's the other thing with Rolex is you can check the serial number. You can you can check with Rolex and they keep a list of stolen watches. So you can check with them and see if a watch is on that list and, and at least protect yourself that way. Uh, let's see. <coughs> Carlos is in the house. Uh, let's see. Yeah would be interesting to know as costs are being cut everywhere now. A uh, problem is BU serve is that Biden didn't recognize him. <laughs> there you go. Joey's in the house. The 9F movement, they they say no need for service for 50 years. But on the spring drive, what is said on the service, even though I don't plan on servicing my spring drive for decades, fingers crossed. Joey Ben. I don't even know if they officially say you're supposed to wait 50 years on the... Um, on the 9F. I don't know that that's official. I think if I think officially they would love for you to have it serviced because they get that money every time you have it serviced. And and I think officially they say that you should service the spring drives like every three years or something. Uh, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that with a Rolex. I wouldn't do that with a spring drive. I wouldn't do that with an Omega. I wouldn't have any of them serviced until they need it. And I think you're going to be able to go decades with any of these uh, but the spring drive, it's, that, that movement in that watch is extremely robust. And I would be surprised if you wouldn't get uh, two, three, four decades out of it without having to have anything done to it whatsoever. That's why it's fantastic. Uh, Lose your booty. He probably, he probably said something like, well, a well-spoken and clean-colored man. <laughs> uh, that's possible. David's in the house. Biden will likely not be the nominee anyway. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's going to be a little shake-up, huh? Come November with the, or whenever they have their convention, their online convention or whatever. How often did you service your day date, Craig? Never. Never had to service it. And it was uh, almost 20 years old when I sold it, and it was still running great. Yeah, I highly recommend not servicing watches like that until they uh, act up. Uh, and I have a whole video about that that, that explains why. Um, do you think that it is worth servicing cheaper, cheaper mechanical watches, uh, Seiko 7S26? I don't know. That's a good question. I, again, I wouldn't just have them serviced per se, but if it was failing or not running, then, then yeah, it's a judgment call as to what they would charge you to fix it compared to what it is worth. And I think the costs of repair on something like that would vary wildly depending on who's doing it and how much how much they're going to rip you off. There you go. In Australia, we have consumer guarantee. If you sell a product that fails to meet one or more of the consumer guidelines, they are entitled to a remedy, either a repair, replacement, or refund in Australia. Well, what if you can't find the guy? <laughs> what if he sells your watch and he disappears? Good luck with that whole thing working out. Carlos is in the house. He says, I got surprised with the endorsement from Obama and, and Bernie. Would that mean that it will not be another Democrat candidate instead of Biden? It would seem like they're 
they're lining up behind Biden. It would seem like that's the case, right? Our Wags is in the House, and he's very articulate. If buying a Rolex through Gray Dealer, make sure they put the serial number on the receipt. Okay. Let's see here. Exactly. So, or possibly. Uh, thanks, Denzel. Oh, my gosh. You guys are all, all over this. Um, Lance. Uh, okay. Uh, good point. That's the reason I haven't bought an SKX. Cost of the watch is 300 CAD and the service price is 250 Okay. Carlos is in the house. By the time they are on the ballot, they have been bought off. Um, right after saying poor kids are just as smart as white kids. <laughs> Jeez. Hello, friends. Blue Shirt Buddha and, and Carlos. Uh, we haven't had a real president in decades. It's funny, my buddy, I was just talking to my buddy about the PPP program, the, the, this money that they're supposed to get to help pay employees and stuff like that. And there was a thing out today. I don't know if it's accurate or not. I just saw it in my Twitter feed. Who knows if it's true, but that like three percent of the the applicants have been dealt with and that they're running out of money as of today so they've only done three percent and they're are they're going to be out of money so that means a whole lot of people that are applying for that ppp program are not going to get the money so and what's funny about this what what's what's interesting is it's a sticky wicket for the Democrats. They can't make a big deal out of that, that that these people, a lot of people aren't getting their money because their whole thing is the government should be able to take care of everybody, right? The government should be able to give everybody what they need and so on and so forth. So if this, this program right out of the chute is a total failure, they can't really attack it or say anything about it because it kind of undermines their the, the whole premise that, that they can take care of everybody right <laughs> here's their chance right to take care of everybody and it ain't happening so so that's kind of interesting it's be interesting to see how this all plays out i don't think the press is going to be all over it and make a big deal out of it because it kind of points out that that the government really can't take care of everybody which is what they want to do right isn't that is that a little bit confusing what do you think about that guys is that kind of ironic uh, let's see. We haven't had a real president in decades. A lot of people say the presidents are just figureheads, that they don't really run anything, that the, 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 power, the power brokers behind the scenes are the ones that run everything. And I kind of probably believe that. I, I doubt you can just go in there and, like, shake things up. Instead of weekend at Bernie's, it would be weekend at Biden's. Biden's. The Dems want him in because he's an easy, easily manipulated swamp <laughs> puppet. Um, hey, Craig, uh, do you have an ideal number of watches in a collection? Oh, absolutely. We'll talk about that. They will get money. Um, government will need 100 plus trillion. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, ideal number of watches. <clears throat> I think it depends. The, 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 the simple, lazy answer is it depends, but I'm going to give you an answer for, um, for the first 40 years of my wearing luxury watches or regu- relatively high-end watches. I liked to have a nice power, what I call power watch, deal-making watch, and that was, of course, a day date for many, many years. This is the subject of, of our, our broadcast today, the Rolex Day Date in 18 karat yellow gold. And then I like to have a sport watch, a steel watch, to wear in rotation with that. So that when I'm doing things that might put the watch more at harm, I could be wearing a steel stun or something like this, for example. Uh, Or something like that, of course, extremely heavy-duty piece, uh, just insanely heavy-duty diver in titanium. Uh, So that would be a two-watch rotation. So that would work for a lot of people. Now... I'm in a situation where I might be going to a three watch rotation at some point because I don't have a gold stunner right now and I like to have a gold stunner but I also love the 231 diver I love the 231 diver it's just rugged it's good looking it's a great size you have to have a decent size wrist to pull it off but it's a it's a good size very legible very easy to read that dial 
And then I also like this 005 stunner. This is a great grab and go watch. This has a GMT function and it's a great grab and go watch, but yet I still don't have a gold stunner. And of course this watch also, by the way, can go under the shirt cuffs because it's nice and trim, right? So it's a great all-arounder, travel watch, all-around type situation, right? It can be worn in a dress situation like I am right now, in a sports situation, anytime. But then I really have my eye, as you guys know, or some of you might know, on this 002 stunner. This SBGY002 in 18 karat gold that's also a spring drive that's very trim, only 10 mils thick, 38 and a half mil watch, has a deployant clasp, a, a beautiful alligator strap. I kind of have my eye on that for like a, a pure dress watch play, if you will. So that would be a three watch rotation. So I think really the best you can get, the best you can get is probably a three watch rotation with a really nice heavy duty sport watch, a really nice dress watch, and then an all arounder that also has like maybe a GMT function, something like that for travel. So I, I think those three might be, and the, and the all arounder would probably, it'd probably be good to have a 9F movement so that you don't have to worry about it stopping if you take it off wrist for a couple days, right? So that way you can probably keep the, um, you can easily keep that one running because you'll be wearing it enough for time to keep it wound right with the auto winding and then with the 005 you won't have to worry about it because it's a 9F and then the times when you wear the dress watch it's it's easy enough just to wind that up and set the time because there's no date to mess with or anything like that and it's a manual wind so you don't have to unscrew the crown or anything you just kind of wind it up set the time and go so that's kind of that could be the perfect watch rotation. The perfect watch rotation. And notice I didn't use the term collection because I really don't believe in collecting watches. I believe in using watches. And if I'm not using the watch on a fairly regular basis, it, I have no reason to have it. I have no reason to have a whole bunch of watches sitting in a box somewhere. That that's of no benefit to me. I, I, I buy my watches and my clothes and everything to, to wear and use, not just to sit around and look at from time to time. So there you go. Uh, let's discuss day dates or I'm going to lose my dinner. There you go. We're going to get on day dates here. I, I would not buy a second-hand car from any politician, not even a Toyota. Really, Craig, at the end of the day, all you would ever need would be the diver, GS and a new day date every other day neither would die yeah I, I agree Kyle but for me the legibility on the day date was an issue I, I just really had trouble reading it and and so that's the main reason why I sold my day date I would still have it in rotation absolutely so for the younger folks like most of you all are younger than me by quite a bit I think Absolutely, the GS Diver and a Day Date would be an excellent, excellent choice. We'll get to the Day Dates here in a minute. Lance is in the house. Craig, do you think that Rolex should make a larger sized Day Date like they did with the Day Just? Well, there is a Day Date 40, Lance. There's already the Day Date 40. Yes, and I would not make one any bigger than that. But um, I think the Date 840 might be a little bit too big for most wrists. I think it might be a challenge for most wrists. I think the 36, if, if, if the legibility is not an issue for you, again, that's the if here, then I would go with the 36. I think it would be a safer play. Okay, let's, uh, good point, Craig, but uh, would that all gold Grand Seiko have the same pull with people as a Day Date? Would it be at the same level, Tim? I think it's. I think it would be pretty damn impressive. Yeah, I. I think people would. People can see like if you're wearing an 18 karat yellow gold Patek or even in any high end dress watch that's that's 18 karat yellow gold, and you're dressed nicely. I think you're going to be fine. And see, in this day and age, most people are not very well dressed anyway so the bar has been lowered quite a bit as far as you can pretty easily outdress most other people right 
Uh, so, yeah, if you're dressed decent and you're wearing a nice, high quality, even if it's an Omega or anything in 18 karat gold that's a nice, elegant looking watch uh, with a nice alligator strap and a nice 18 karat gold clasp, you know, or, or buckle or whatever, this one has the deployant uh, buckle. Uh, yeah, I, I think that would be extremely impressive and that would definitely be a power, a power watch situation. Very, very close to on par. I, I think, I think, I think, I think that would be pretty much on par with with a day date. Absolutely, I, I think it would be very impressive. Uh, again, if you watch the videos on that watch, it is a gorgeous watch by all accounts. I haven't seen it in person, but by all accounts, it's absolutely incredible. I thought it was only made in thirty six mil. No, no, it's not. Um, your new day date can have a white dial for increased legibility. Kyle in the house. I, I, yeah, the white the white dial would help, but still the hands are not very thick. It's still not very legible, um, so it's it's going to be an issue for people that that have a, a challenge with the eyeballs. Uh, let's see. Most people can't tell a Patek from a Daniel Wellington. Well, yeah, as, so, as long as the watch has a really nice case design and it's 18 karat yellow gold and, and again, it's on a really nice strap, I think it's going to look pretty impressive. I, I absolutely think it's going to look impressive. Uh, it's the gold that really shows up. I mean, like, like for example, this pen. I mean, look at the gold. I mean, it, it just there's just something special about it, right? There, there always has been. For thousands of years, there's always been something special about gold. Okay, that's just the way it is. Um, Carlos Weichel Day Date Fort is almost the perfect watch. Yeah, I would not do it. Now, I would just get a steel watch if I if I wanted to go that direction. But I understand why Carlos did. Carlos wanted to be under the radar, and I guess he goes to a lot of dangerous areas. And so I understand that. But what I would do is I would get yellow gold and then just not go to those dangerous areas is how I would play it. But maybe in Panama it's harder to stay away from the dangerous areas. So yeah, to each their own. Okay, so let's go back here to day dates. Let's go to day dates. This was the last one we looked at last show. And by the way, this is part three of the day date special. And this could be the last day for it. So get all your day date questions in today because we might not revisit this for a while. So let me um, go back here one page. And we're going to go, let's skip to page 12 of the day dates. And we're going up in price as we go up pages here. We're getting up into the higher priced territory. This one's almost 13,000 with the Roman numerals. Not a big fan of the Roman numerals personally. A lot of people love them. But, you know, we call it like we see it here. I don't like the diamonds. So I'm going to pass up on any of these with diamonds. There's another one with Roman numerals. One nice thing is there's a lot of selection with date eights. And there's an 1807, so that's going to be a bark finish on that one there for 12.9. Let's keep going. Another Roman numeral. And, and, the, and the gold dials, again really a legibility issue there when you've got the gold dial and the gold hands so I don't think I would go there um, let's see uh, I try to style myself after those narcos from the Netflix series I'm aware it's it's wrong to idealize criminal criminals but the way they dress is impressive they just look like power figures maybe some of them maybe some of them dress pretty good just just watch any old Cary Grant movie, and that's if you dress like that, you'll be okay. Uh, not that dangerous areas, neither I like the stereotype of colored gold for daily use. Oh my gosh, it's fantastic, Carlos. They're, they're beautiful, especially with short sleeve. Oh my gosh, they look stunning with short sleeves. Absolutely, you can wear it with short sleeves. Uh, Carlos, I, I get what you mean. Growing up in Mexico, I couldn't wear anything fancy. Yeah, you don't want to get knocked on the head, that's for sure. Question, in 1970 or 1980, how much did a day date cost? How much was the average income in the USA? Very good questions. Um, somebody can probably pull up 
and find out what the list prices were on them new. I know that my 1803, I seem to remember I paid around 2000 for it used. And that was in about 1980. So, uh, you know, were they 3500 new? I'm, I don't remember for sure. Uh, but maybe somebody can find a table that shows what the prices were. Now, as far as income, I income's varied pretty wildly. I was selling cars at the time, and, and I was doing well. I was making anywhere from, uh, you know, 1000 or so a, a week, uh, m maybe upwards to... 1500 to 2000 some weeks. I remember one month I, I made $5,600, and that was the month that I got my, um, my American Express card. That was 1979. That was when I got my American Express card because I remember they called. They actually called the dealership, Wheaton Dodge, when I was working there, and they talked to my manager, and they said, we're verifying Mr. Ship's employment and his income, and, uh, and they... They, they, at the time, they, they told him what I w put down as my income, and he, and he said, oh, well, that's actually very conservative. Mr. Ship made $5,600 last month alone, right? And so I remember that. I remember that clearly. So um, some of us were doing pretty good, making pretty good money uh, back in the day. Uh, so, um, but yeah, incomes varied quite a bit. Um, do they make a 18 karat gold day chest? Oh yeah, absolutely they made them. They also made 14 karat gold ones. Um, films, my day chest 1970 uh, was 250 US dollars. And, and I'll tell you, my day chest that I bought in 1978 was $560 and that was with the engine turn bezel and that was new at an AD and I don't that was the list price I don't remember I think I got a discount but I don't remember exactly what I paid and that was the first one that I bought the first Rolex was in 1978 it was a, um, a date chest with an engine turn bezel and a uh, Jubilee bracelet that was made in the United States of America okay so Tim's in the house I take the point about gold date day date but there is something about the white gold which stands out. It seems obvious it's not stainless steel when you see it in real life. Well, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. It looks pretty similar. Hey, Craig and all. Maybe Carlos can comment on that because he has a uh, date chest with the Hidden Class Jubilee bracelet. Maybe he can comment on the difference between the two. R. Wags, uh, my buddy bought his dad a new Rolex day date around 1980. I believe he paid about 6000 for it. Um. Hmm. Okay. I didn't know they were that quite that much, but maybe they were. It, it probably depends. It might have had some diamonds on it or something too. So that'd be an interesting point to know. Um. I know mine was about the the uh, eighteen two three eight that I bought in the year two thousand. That was around sixteen thousand. By then, they'd gone up to about sixteen thousand. So um. So yeah. Craig, how frequently do you swap watches? Not not super frequently. I mean, on average, I would say I probably over the over the last 40 years, on average, I probably keep a watch 4 or 5 years. I'd say on average, some I keep a lot longer and some not as long. I it I typically I typically will know within a couple of years if it's a watch I really, really like and it really becomes a keeper, or so maybe even within a year. So sometimes I'll get a watch and only keep it a relatively short time. Like I did sell the Snowflake in a relatively quick, uh, you know, order of time. Uh, but once I settle in and I really like a watch, then it might stick around for a long time. Like, for example, the last day date I had for almost 20 years. So, yeah, that depends on the watch and how enamored I am with it. Speaking of being enamored, Brie Fit Dance is in the house, and she says hello to everyone, and she's pretty much amazing. So check out BrieFitDance.com, BrieFitDance.com, and any of you all that are not 
cheapskates, you might want to step up and be a, be a Patreon and help, help support a young lady build her brand and build her career. She's gonna, she really wants to help people out with fitness and health and, uh, and make some exciting content. Carlos, in Switzerland, you can wear any Rolex with no fear, but with a Seiko on your wrist, you surely would be in danger. <laughs> Craig, you cannot buy that Grand Seiko until trying on the New Day date with Bree and showing us here on the channel, Derek in the house. Uh, sorry about that, but if I if uh, Steve gets the uh, 002 in stock and I like it, I'm probably going to lock and load. So I, you know, that's how I do. If I see something I really like. Sometimes I just lock and load on it. Um, let's see here. Uh, <clears throat> when did Rolex start making the day date and platinum? That's a very good question. I think almost since the beginning. I, I remember back when I first started learning about them, they, they always had them in white gold, platinum, and yellow gold. So, you know, I know in the late 70s, they were that all three. And there was also that Rolosaur that they came out with that was a combination of white gold and, I don't know if it was white gold and rose gold or what it was, but it was kind of, kind of that's kind of a wild piece. Uh, nothing compares to the day date, and Bree knows this, Derek's in the house. Buy one, Derek! Why don't you buy a day date for yourself and a lady date for Bree? Buy matching models what do you think okay speaking of day dates let's look at this one let's look at this one you're not going to get hear me say something negative about a day date i mean <laughs> i wore them for many 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 years now this is a bark finish this is an 1807 this is similar to our wags to his watch and i'll tell you what i think these are stunners i i have definitely come around to be a fan of the 1807. I think it's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. And those of you that have younger eyes, you'll be able to read that dial fine. And that would be stunning. You can get out there and make deals, do deals. I did a deal today. I sold another website. I'm building a website for a client. And they're tickled pink because they've worked with me before. And, uh, you know, that looks like it's got plenty of links to it. Yeah, there you go. And some paperwork, too. Speaking of paperwork, there's some paperwork there. So there you go. Let's go back and see what else we've got here. Do a quick time check while we're doing that. And uh, here is... Here's one with a lighter color dial. Let's look at this one. Now this is also an 1803. A lot of 1803s in this price range. And I'm not, I do not have a problem with an 1803. I think they're pretty cool. There's one. A little more legible than that other one, right? These photos are oversaturated. I don't know why they can't take a more natural photo. But that's an interesting piece right there. And it looks like it doesn't have all the factory lengths. It looks like it's a little shorter than that other one was, but it's probably good enough for most people. Most people's wrists. Oh, by the way, Bree, let me know if you want to uh, Skype in. You're always welcome, as you know. I think you know that. I hope you know that. Uh, Carlos agreed. No one, uh, uh, let's see. Um, <clears throat> Uh, and somebody says hello to Bree. The day dates are stunners, says Bree. To me, it's quite evident the difference, but in my opinion, most people would not notice a difference. Most people neither notice the watch anyway. Well, if you've got 18 karat yellow gold on, trust me, they'll notice that. <laughs> most people will notice that. They might not know exactly what it is. They might not know that it's a Rolex, but they'll know that it's a hunk of 18 karat yellow gold. It looks pretty amazing, especially when the sunlight hits it. I mean to say, how frequently do you rotate watches between your collection? Um, well, I think I answered that. I wear all my watches. I don't really 
have any that are out of rotation. They're, they're always being worn on a very regular basis. Otherwise, if they're not being worn, they go. I would sell them. There's no reason to have them sitting around. They're not investments, and so if they're just sitting around, they're going to go. Uh, let's see. Carlos agreed. No one notices my Rolex. Haha, <laughs> maybe a good thing. Tim in the house. Well, it's probably not a yellow gold date eight then if they're not noticing it. You're correct. Any steel Rolexes, they're not going to notice. They they could care less. They, they they don't they don't even have any idea what it is. And if it's a Rolex person, they may notice it, but they're not going to be impressed because there's steel Rolexes everywhere. So it's not going to be impressive. If you want to impress people, you got to go yellow gold. That's just the way it is. Unfortunately, that's the way it is. Just dropping by, taking a break from lounging outside on the 70 degree day in San Diego. There you go. The white gold day date with yellow, white, and rose gold band is called Tridor. Okay, Tridor. I thought it was Rollasaur or something. Okay, cool. Okay, Tridor. Good. Thanks for the info. Carlos, hello, Chi. Great to have some vitamin D. Absolutely. I was out today for a couple of hours walking. Um, I've watched today a video about how important it is for current virus. There you go. Uh, yeah, good nutrition, good exercise. It's good, period. Forgetting about this current virus for health in general and any viruses, it's always good to have good nutrition and take care of yourself. Somebody commented in one of the live chats the other day, you know, they asked me, how how long I exercise every day and I said at least two hours and they said well oh I couldn't nobody has that much time to spend on exercising I said well it depends on how important your health is if your health is not a priority then don't spend two hours a day exercising it's all in what you make a priority if your health is a priority then you might want to exercise two hours a day and just skip some television or something else that's wasting your time currently uh, someone needs to come up with a Doug score for watches so we can find out what really is better between the 002 and the Date 8. Kyle in the house. Well, I'll let you know once I see it in person. I will let you know. Trust me, because I've had both. So once I see the 002, I will be able to tell you definitively. And I will not sugarcoat it. I will give it to you straight. That's how we do it on this channel. We don't... Uh, we do not beat around the bush. Hey, Carlos, and, uh, in case you hadn't already noticed, my spiritual um, uh, Mediterranean weather comrades, that Rolex president, uh, Golden, is a stunner. Bree in the house. There, you, Hey, guys, you want to get on Bree's right side? You might want to get her a day date. All I'm saying, I'm just saying, if you want to get a leg up, you might want to think about a day date for the lovely Bree. She's giving you a hint right there. Present bracelets are beautiful, says Lance. Bree knows, says Derek. There you go, Derek. That's your opportunity. She's opening up the door for you pretty wide. R. Wags is in the house. Lance, you are correct. I never get tired of looking at mine. And he's got an 1807 R. Wags. He's no joke. Uh, highly recommended channel and this specific video vitamin d and immunity lots of evidence da 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 well yeah you're not going to get any argument from me and also just good nutrition in general carlos because it's not just vitamin d there's a lot of things your body needs to maintain a strong resistance to um to attack and as brie has said before she's she's tried her best to attack my immune system she she brought all kinds of colds and flus and all kinds of things in here and tried her best to infect me and it was unsuccessful so what do you think about that Bree? you remember that remember you to you all tried to infect me and it didn't exactly work tim's in the house obvious difference between stainless steel and white gold probably too strong a word i suppose yes gold is obviously different you, you mean yellow gold is obviously different yeah Stig, uh, Chi-Town, you're a lucky man here in Denmark. It's 40 degrees, uh-oh. Uh, got some vitamin D today, says the lovely Bree. Our Wags is in the house. Stig, it's only 45 degrees in Midwest USA. Tom says, hi, all. Carlos, it was only about 50 degrees here today, but it was sunny. It was nice. Carlos, it seems that the vitamin D deficiency is one of the biggest reasons for death by the virus in people with darker skin. Interesting. Well, according to some of the statistics, 
the biggest uh, risk factor for dying from this current uh, attack, this current virus, is obesity. Is is uh, you know not just overweight, but being obese. That they're at uh, extreme risk factor. Uh, and then it goes down from there as far as the risk factors. So if you're obese, you really have to be careful. It will get you. I think they said one third of people that are obese that get it die. You know, fully one third of them. So it's a it's a problem. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Rolosaur is a mix of gold and steel. The last digit for reference numbers on white gold it, and SS is four three for yellow and one. Okay. So Rolosaur would not be available in a day date because they don't make any day dates with steel in them. So you you can get up early and exercise, says Tom in the house. That's right. You just got to make time for it. You got to make time for it. There has to be self-discipline. You have to get out there and get going and make things happen. More opportunities now than ever. And people are sitting at home just like, I, I don't they're sitting, they're just like, in a funk and they're like oh I'm on house arrest and oh, I can't do anything and oh, there's all kinds of things they can do get out and make things happen you know I mean do what you got to do to be successful that's what I say don't let some government bureaucrats hold you down don't let them put that jack boot on your neck and hold you down get out and make things happen uh, Craig I prefer stainless steel on leather during the winter Yellow gold bracelets during the summer. Yellow gold shines so nicely under the sun. Oh, there you go. Absolutely. Tom's in the house, too. And Brett G. says, Craig, why the hell would you sell your day date? Horrible decision, Brett P. G. I've explained that a million times, Brett. What are you, stupid? Are you slow? Are you a little slow on the uptake? And by the way, do you have a day date? Let us know in the chat if you have one. And if you don't have one, then I don't know how you're one to even give me any advice. And even if you say you have one, my guess is you don't because you're probably in your mom's basement and you probably got real short arms and you're probably in your mom's basement. I'm just taking a wild guess. Um, let's see, Stu, uh, did you see the review of the Omega Speedmaster Moonshine 18 karat gold case? brown ceramic bezel wow oh no i haven't seen that one i wonder if steve has that in stock steve is an omega dealer by the way littletreasury.com carlos in the house stig in the other hand copenhagen is a great city derek's in the house he sold it because he is on the cusp of upgrading to a new model derek in the house I sold it really just because of legibility issues. I wasn't wearing the watch. It was sitting in the box more than not, and I don't keep watches that I'm not wearing. I stopped wearing it about the last two years that I had it. I was wearing it rarely because I had trouble reading it, okay? My eyes are not as great as they used to be. That's why I've got these reading glasses on right now, right? So that's the issue. I can take these reading glasses off, and I can read the 005 right now, and I can easily read the 231 without any reading glasses whatsoever. And I like that. I don't like to have to kind of, you know, go like this and kind of wonder what the time is. And that's what I was doing with the day date more often than not. I'm like, I'm looking at it two or three times saying, is that quarter to, what, what is that, you know? And that's just irritating. Now, if when I was out in the sun and really good light, I could read it fine. So when I was going to cover events and things like that, I could wear it and all. If I knew I was going to be out in the sun, I could read it fine. But as soon as I got in a low light situation, it got dicey. And I, I'm sitting there like, you know, going like this and trying to re hit the angles right. And it just got old, okay? I do use my watches. Unlike some people, I do use my watches to actually tell the time. And I use them often for that. And if I can't do that effectively with it, I ain't going to wear it. And if I ain't going to wear it, I ain't going to keep it. So there's that's that's the story, and I'm sticking with it. Let's see, Stu in the house, I know you don't like cr chronometer, but the moonshine is special. Okay, Carlos. Again, I mean, a, a stopwatch function on the watch would not be good for me because, again, that would harm legibility even more. Let's see, I hope Lamont have vitamin D supplements. 
Tim in the house, another risk factor has to be if you smoke as the virus. Yes, that is. Uh, diabetes is a risk factor. Smoking is a risk factor. See, and some people have all of those. They're obese, they smoke, and they have diabetes. Well, that's a trifecta, right? <laughs> I mean, you're in deep trouble. And heart disease, right? That's another uh, risk factor. So some of them have all of the risk factors, right? In which case, they're like really in trouble. Craig, could you recommend any good day date homages? No, I don't think so. I don't. I think uh, most, if it's a fake day date, it's going to be pretty lousy, I would think, because it's hard to fake 18 karat yellow gold. Pretty hard to fake that. Now, I heard there were some that they were actually making out of gold, some fakes, but I don't know if I believe that. Hi, everyone. Here's my story with a day date. Wanted one since I saw two pack wearing it. <laughs> Jeez, I was 18. Worked seven years and finally got one. Okay. Wore it for a year and sold it due to feeling like Pablo Escobar. <laughs> oh, well. <clears throat> Kyle's in the house. Uh, other than the movement, because obviously Spring Drive is better than anything Rolex has to offer, what categorize, categories is the 002 beating the Day Date in? I think it's going to be a little bit more legible because it is a bigger dial. It's a significantly bigger dial, and it's going to have pretty good contrast between that white background and the hands and the indices. Those are all gold. So I think it's going to be a little more legible and you see, with the day date, the, the problem that I had was, well, I'm not showing it. Let me show it there. With, with the day date, the problem that I had was I was trying to wear it in rotation as a two watch rotation. I was trying to wear it with my sport watch. The last watch I had when I had the day date was that one right there. So I was, I was wearing it in rotation with the 231. And what happened was, more often than not, I'd I would forget to wear the watch. I just didn't wear it soon enough, and it had stopped. And then I'd have to reset it. I'd have to reset the date and so on, reset the time. It was a pain in the neck. Unscrew the crown, all that, right? At least with that watch, there's no date to worry with. There's no unscrewing the crown. It's just wind it up, set the time, and go, right? So it's going to be a little bit easier from a standpoint of if I'm only going to wear it like once a week or something, or maybe even once every two weeks in the summertime, I don't dress up as often like I am now. In the wintertime, I'd wear it more often, right? But it wouldn't be as hassle, big a hassle if it stops to restart it and set the time and go, right? A little bit less of a hassle, and I think a little bit more legible because it's 38.5 millimeters as opposed to 36. So I think it's a sweet spot size. It's about the size of this watch. Okay, almost exactly the size of this watch, but it's thinner than this watch. Okay, this one's 12 mils thick and that one's 10 mils. So I think it's gonna be a great size. Again, I'll know a lot more when I see it and I will give you guys a full report when I see it. If I see it, maybe Steve won't even be able to get it. I mean, you know, I heard rumors that, that Grand Seiko is shut down just like Rolex is shut down. I heard that their factory is shut down. I don't know what's going on. I can't get any real information from Grand Seiko. They don't talk to me. If I send them an email, they don't respond. I don't get any information from the horse's mouth. So I'm, a, I'm in the dark on this whole thing, okay? I get no respect, okay? I think I've told you that many times. I get no, I'm the Ron, Rondi Dangerfield, right, of, of Grand Seiko. I get no respect, but we'll see what happens. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, Carlos, yes, but it's a, it's bloody cold here. Hey, Craig, sent you a link to a day date with a white tapestry dial. Tim is in the house. Okay, we'll take a look at that. Let's do a quick time check while we check our email. Ba 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 ba. A day date on Chrono Twenty Four. On Chrono Twenty Four. Wow, seventeen thousand. Okay, we'll pull this puppy up. Yeah. Yeah, that's a stunner. Oh, somebody just called on Skype. Uh-oh, and I hung it up. Let me see who that was. I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. I think it might be Dudley. I think, yes, it's Dudley. Hold on, let me put you full screen and I get my headset on. 
This is a treat. We were just talking about day dates. Put the headset on here. Dudley's in the house. Hello, can you hear me? Absolutely. All right. What, what do you have on wrist? Oh, my gosh. A 40 mil date eight. Whoa, with the black dial. Uh, can you give us a little bit of a closer look on that? Because we're talking about day dates, and these guys are these guys are wondering if anybody uses these in the real world. Look at that sun hitting that thing. Holy cow, are you kidding me? Back up. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, so give us, fill us in. I know you're busy. You're making deals. You're out there making things happen. And I know this virus isn't slowing you down one bit. I know you're, you're no joke. So let us tell, tell us what it's like to be wearing a Date 840 and be out there in, in the field making deals and making things happen. Well, I can assure you I'm not in the field right now, so I, I don't dress like this regularly. But uh, I am working from the comfort of my home, and mm -hmm. real estate market's moving along. We still have access to appraisers, home inspectors, lenders, title companies. So you're still so, making things happen. You're, you're making the best out of a marginal situation. Right, and we're considered essential, mm -hmm. anything real estate related, so even up all the way up to house movers so well there everything's you percolating you know obviously if uh if you're out of work it's hard to get a loan but now there's another thing that uh some people have been talking about uh, about wearing a day date on a regular basis you know how some of these pundits say that they're like soft as butter and you know they can't take any abuse out in the field and and uh what do you what do you have to say to uh, folks? Because I know you've been wearing yours for a while now. What, what are your thoughts on uh, on all that? I don't I don't worry about it. Uh, but I have my watch insured, and I don't think it would. You know, it's a tough watch. I mean, it's like a tank. I mean, you haven't so. really had a problem with a bunch of dings on it any more than a stainless watch, right? It's pretty much holding up as good as your. You have a date chest, right? I don't even think about it, Craig. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Date so date see, date folks, date see, folks, people that buy a day date and just wear it and use it, it's a, it's a watch to them. And this is a real owner here. I mean, I'm not making this stuff up. This is a real owner, and he wears it, and he's not even worried about it. He's not even thinking about the, the fact that gold might be softer than, than steel or whatever. He's just wearing the watch. It looks gorgeous. You've had it, what, about a year now? Yeah, I kind of think it's like a like a sport watch, really. Yeah, it's it. They're they're built to take a lot of abuse, and and they do that well. Anything else you want to share with us? Because I know I know you're busy. I'm going to let you go. But anything else you can share with us to bring these guys some real world information? No, I don't think so. But you know, I I wanted to follow through and. And come on and say hello. You'd ask me to come on, so I didn't want to yeah, well, let you down in any way. But uh, I don't know. I can't really read the comments or anything. But if anyone has any questions, be happy to answer them. Yeah, they're just uh, you know contemplating the you know whether or not a, a day date could be like an everyday piece and and just wear it. And and it sounds like you're yeah. saying no problem at all. I think it can be, and I think a lot of it has to do with the movement that's inside the watch you know it's got the paraflex shock absorbers it's got a 32 35 caliber movement um so even if you get a, a date just uh 40 date oh i lost you i lost you for a second hey, say again can I'll, you hear me yeah go ahead so even if you get a date just 41 you still get the same movement it just is with one less module mm -hmm. uh, but I don't think you can go wrong with either one of them. I think they're pretty much worry-free. Um, I love my date just, just mm -hmm. for the sole fact that I, I have a micro link adjustment. Mm -hmm. But uh, I like this one because I like seeing the day. So yeah. um, anyway, now do you do you generally I, do you generally keep them both running, or do you have to start and stop them, or do you wear them enough for them to keep running? Yeah, they got seventy-two hour power reserve so sometimes i don't have to it just depends on the circumstance i mean i've had this watch on for about a week now okay but when it when we're not in a, a pandemic you know and i'm 
going from the gym maybe to home to work or whatever, you know, I'll switch it out real quick. And Mm -hmm. so they're still running at that point. But, um, yeah, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't think about, uh, any of the liabilities involved with the watch or Mm -hmm. putting a ding on it or anything like that's the last thing I'm worried about. Yeah. You're, 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 you're doing business. So yeah, yeah, you, you got bigger, bigger fish to fry. All right, I'm gonna. Right, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not thinking about the watches, really. Yeah, I hear you. There you, now, see, folks, that's the way it is in the real life. Well, thanks for calling in, Dudley. I really appreciate it. I, I appreciate it because a real world example is is worth its weight in gold, literally. In this case, thanks for calling in. Persevere. There you go, Dudley, making things happen. You can't make this stuff up, folks. You can't make it up. You you, you think I'm just whistling dixie here but i'm not and uh matter of fact he's coming in from the from the deep south <laughs> with an 18 karat gold date 840 yellow gold on wrist all right let's look at this tapestry dial again here <laughs> that's you can't make this stuff up folks and then we'll get to the comments real quick this is a stunner this is an absolute stunner with the tapestry dial let's go through some photos here absolute stunner looking good looking good looking good looking good I say and I'm guessing this is an 18238 I'm guessing that's what this is it's got to be at that price point that, that's that's a nice steep price it better be it better be jumping up and down oh it's an they say it's an 1803. That's surprising. 1985. I'm not sure if that model number is correct. 1985. I think that would be an 18238. So that's weird. It's in the Netherlands. Maybe they're confused. I think that's an 18238. Be my guess. Okay. Let me catch up on the comments. Uh, if you don't get your hands on the Ohu Ohu do you have any other watches in mind, Kevin D? Definitely not until fall, because I really don't need the 18 karat gold stunner until fall, because in the summertime, I wouldn't wear it that much anyway. I'd be mainly wearing the sport watches. So in fall, if I don't get the 002 in the fall, I will probably start looking at other options. Yeah, I'll probably I'll probably do that. And it might be a day date. I mean, I might... I might risk it. I might say, well, I'll give it a shot. I mean, but see, I'm giving up a couple things there. I'm giving up potentially the legibility and the accuracy. And I have gotten spoiled by the freaking accuracy on these, on the spring drive and on, of course, the the 9F stunner. So, so there's, I could Skype in if you'd like. Yes, Bree, please Skype in if you can and say hi. Absolutely. We always are looking forward to a visit from the lovely Brianna. What about a Carter tank for Bree? Stu, if it's 18 karat yellow gold, I think so. Stu, uh, Stu DeBaker, no way. No, 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 no. Uh, the Cartier tank is, is pretty cool, um, Bree. I think you might like that if it, if he gets one in 18 karat yellow gold for you. I think that might work. Derek in the house. So don't no no don't dismiss that one so quickly there, lovely Brianna. Um, Derek's in the house. The O2 has a nice look, but for Christ's sake, it doesn't even have a bracelet. Not enough gold, Derek in the house. Uh, I think it'll look pretty elegant. Okay, Bree's calling in. <clears throat> All right, hold on a second, Bree. I'm putting putting you on full screen. The lovely okay. Bree. Well, thank you for calling in, young lady. How are you doing? Welcome. I'm good. How are you? Good, good, good. All right. Do you have the cable hooked up? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it looks it looks okay. It looks okay. Um, what have you? What did you do today? You did, did you do arms today? Yes, I did um, the, I guess the wood. With the rope? Okay. Yeah. And what, did you do dumbbells also? Yeah, I'm, cur- I'm curls. Okay, alternating? Yes. 
All right. Do and you, going slow this time. Do, do you do you do you have them handy? Can you demonstrate? I want to see if your form is really correct. Can you <laughs> okay. demonstrate? Sure. Okay. I only have one this time. Okay. Well, that's all right. But you, you're going to have to uh, yeah move the chair a little bit. So. Well, that's pretty good. You're not you're not swinging your shoulders. You're not you know you're holding nice and steady. Okay, good. Now, okay, so you can sit back down. How many um, how many curls are you doing with each arm? Um, I do about like thirty. With each arm. Each. Yeah. Okay. This is what I want you to do. When you get up to where you can do fifty. On okay. E on each arm. Okay. I want you to increase the weight. Uh, okay. When you get up, when you work yourself up to 50. So, like 15 pounds? How much is the weight now? 10. Okay, yeah. T yeah, go up to 15. Go up to 15. Okay. Okay. Sounds right. good. And I think I do... And here's the good thing about this is because you're doing a lot of reps, you're going to get really nice tone. You're, you, we don't want you to build up big muscles. We don't want you to look like a lady bodybuilder, right? We want you to have a nice tone like that, nice nice tone and, and good strength. No flabby, and, no flabby arms. Yeah, and good strength and stuff like that. But we don't want you to look like, you know what I mean by we don't want you to look like a a a woman Body yeah we don't want yeah we don't want that look but i don't want anything but yeah you are on the right track you're in motion you're making things happen is your schooling going good yeah i was just like actually doing homework while listening to you okay and so you're gonna you're gonna be doing good on your classes yes okay you're gonna straight a's straight a's i don't yeah. know maybe like a's and b's Try to get it up to A's, all A's, because you're going to want to get really good scholarships, okay? Because you yeah. don't want to borrow any money. Remember, we don't borrow money. Yeah, no borrowing money. Yeah, so you've got to get those grades up so that you can get scholarships, scholarships for the fall. Okay. Um, and Patreon. Yeah, oh, help. Patreon, Patreon folks. If anybody is feeling generous, feeling generous, and you want to help, you know, Bree is trying to do the right thing here. She's trying to take care of herself and be in great health and skip all the the bad things like the drugs and all the bad things that a lot of kids are doing these days. Bree's skipping all that. And so I think it's worthwhile to show a little bit of support and maybe step up and be a Patreon. I'm a Patreon. I'm a Patreon of, of the lovely Breester. And and she will welcome others if you guys want to yes. come. Briefitdance.com, briefitdance.com, and you'll find the link there to be a, a Patreon of the lovely Brianna. Anything else that you would like to share before we let you go? Um, not much, but I will be live on my Instagram account. Um, I don't think most of your viewers are on Instagram but by the way folks yeah if you're not on Instagram get on Instagram <laughs> and share and and follow the lovely Brie on yeah, Instagram Brie let me catch up here on the comments real quick while you're still here um, let's see Cheetown California says if you can't afford a day date then get a date just that's a good advice if somebody is on a budget and they want to get an all-arounder I always have highly recommended a date just. That's a good all around piece for a starter. That's true. For a They're starter, a starter Rolex. Derek's in the house. The GS Diver is objectively better than a sub, though. Oh my gosh, it's it's stunning. It is stunning. Bree, you've seen my Grand Seiko Diver's watch, right? I have. You've had yes. it on your wrist. And um, let's cut to it real quick there. And um, it's pretty much a stunner in person, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't fit me, but... Yeah. It's, it's too big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Bree should get 
that date just 34 in purple and never look back. Well, that's a possibility. That's a possibility. Bree's going to end up with something nice, but she's got to get a, her grades up to A's, and she's got to get some really strong uh, scholarships, and and she's got to get up to a thousand subscribers on her YouTube. And I think this will be a nice uh, a nice award for her, a nice uh, milestone watch. What do you think about that, Bree? A milestone watch. I agree. So, and uh, Adonis says, Craig, did you check out the new spring drives from GS, 120 hours of power reserve? Yeah, they're pretty amazing, but it's only in a couple of models. So we'll see how that goes. Is Steve in the house? Not right now. I think he's at Little Treasury, though. You can call him up. I think he's there. And Making uh, things happen. Yeah, yeah, there you go. And Cartier tank on ladies is very nice. I agree. An 18 karat gold Cartier. Well, next time you're here, we'll we'll look at some watches for you. Next time you're here in the studio, we'll do a special show and look through some possible watches for you. What do you think, Bree? That would be that would be nice. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Been a while since Dudley was on the channel. Dudley, can you please tell Craig to buy a new one already Derek in the house Derek is obsessed Bree he's he's got an obsession with Updating. me with me getting another day date okay and he's obsessed with it it's so uh, that's okay it's kind of funny um <laughs> Craig why the white dude wearing your day date <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's talking about Dudley uh, Dudley is a true day date owner. Too busy making moves to worry about scratches. Cheat town in the house. Dudley knows what's up. Hello, Lamont. Are you t talking vitamin D supplements? You're the same way, Bree, right? If you get a nice watch, you're going to wear it, right? You're not going to baby it. It's not going to sit in the box somewhere. No way. Right? You're going to wear well, it. I definitely wear it. That's It'll why. You that's why you want a heavy duty watch so that you can wear it exactly right? yeah you don't want something that's like fragile because you're you know you're in motion um <laughs> uh it was it was great to have lamont's father on skype with his day date i prefer my uh something uh, uh filippo Loretti, whatever that is to this rolex i'm not sure what that is how are you young men doing today says scott brie what about an Omega Constellation? We'll have to look at that. We're going to look at some options for Brie uh, when we get a chance to get you back on the camera there so they can see the lovely Brie. Um, I would like, I would love to Skype in with you boys after my current live stream ends. Scott in the house. We're going to end this one pretty soon, though. Sorry about that, Scott, but maybe next time. Talk about accuracy. The Apple Watch is always right. There you go. And we, we tried the Apple Watch on Bree's wrist, and it was even too big. So we uh, we just struck out. We tried several on her wrist. Her wrist is tiny. Show your wrist one more time. Show us your wrist. Tiny little wrist. It doesn't look as tiny in that camera shot as it actually is. It's It's tiny. Tiny wrist, but strong. She's tiny but strong, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Um, <laughs> Craig, what do you think of the new $400 iPhone SE that just came out? Cheat Town. It's a deal. It's a bargain for somebody that doesn't want to spend much money on a watch. I mean, on a phone. It's absolutely a good, good deal, I think. Craig, please buy Brie the Cartier Tank upscale classy watch for classy young lady. Well, actually, she needs something that's more sport related. That's got a, that's waterproof and you know is on a bracelet. She doesn't want something on a strap because she she wants to be able to go right in the water with it and not have to take it off or anything like that. So she needs something that is a little more heavy use than the tank. But Stu, if you want to give her one in 18 karat gold, she could wear that when she dresses up real nice, real elegant. She could wear that as a dress watch if you want to gift her one. Anybody yep. that wants to gift a watch to the lovely Brie, get in touch with me, and I'll give you an address that you can send it to. And we will do an unboxing live right here on the on the channel um, with the lovely Brie. You send something in 18-karat gold, 
and will definitely do that. Wearing a 9F sometimes makes me wonder why I bother with other movements, says Tom in the house. I hear you. That's a good point. The 9F is amazing. Craig, would, be, would Bree accept an Orient Bambino hom homage to a day date? That's a good question. We'll have to have a whole show looking at possible watches for the lovely Brie. Kevin's in the house. An SBGD205 for Brie. All right, well, we'll check that. We'll check that. We'll um, check that. What size is your wrist, Brie? Do you know? Did you measure your sure. wrist? All right, we'll measure it next time you're here. We'll find out exactly. I, I, I can touch it with... I can make a circle with my thumb and my middle finger. Yeah, it's it's small. We have to, well, we'll measure it. Um, the, the SE would be perfect for someone like my mother who doesn't want an oversized phone, just wants a smartphone. Uh, Leslie is a five-inch wrist, so says Kyle. And Stu's in the house. Time to wrap this puppy up. I agree. Well, thank you, Bree. And BreeFitDance.com. 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 And uh, keep making things happen, young lady. You're you're Will do. you're 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 in motion, and that's a good thing. Cre also, have my grand cycle pen handy. Oh, oh, oh there you go. <laughs> Let's see it. It okay. writes well. There you go. The lovely Bree has a grand Seiko pen. All right. Somebody says a pre-owned date chest would be perfect for Bree to start off with, in my opinion. Tim in the house. That's, that's a possibility. Will Steve do an Omega show soon? I hope so. There is also an affordable boulevard, boulevard that looks like a date date, says Tom. All right. We're going to wrap it up. I'm going to let you go, young lady. Wave. Say goodbye. Okay. Bye. Stay safe. All right. Thanks for calling in, as always. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. There you go, breeze in motion, making things happen. And we are going to wrap it up, wrap it up. And, uh, yeah, some of you guys might want to think about uh, showering Bree with some gifts. That might be a good move. If I was a youngster like you guys, I'd probably be doing I'm, I shower her with gifts anyway, but if I was a youngster like you guys, I really would. All right, let's see here how we're going to wrap this puppy up. Let's do one last time check. We've been going almost an hour and 15 minutes. Be sure to click the subscribe button and click the little bell so that you'll get notifications because this is the only show of its kind on YouTube. The only show of its kind. That's what I say. I don't like homage watches. What are your opinions? I'm not a big fan, but I wouldn't totally poo-poo them but yeah I don't own any at this current time so that should tell you something Grand Seiko a Grand Seiko day date spring drive there you go wait Craig says Derek please what's for dinner <laughs> we can't end yet Derek sorry Derek but I'll be back hopefully tomorrow tell all your friends tell all your friends we'll be back thanks everybody for watching